Welcome to Byte Further. Today's video is about how to fix iPad unavailable try again in 3 hours or security lockout try again in 3 hours. Locking your iPad with a passcode protects your photos, messages, and other important data from unknown accesses. It's good until you get locked out of iPad because you forgot the passcode and someone like your son mistakenly keeps entering the passcode incorrectly. In iPodOS 16 or later, you should see an iPad unavailable or security lock message. When the wrong passcode is entered more than 8 times, you'll see the iPad says iPad unavailable try again in 3 hours, which is just like this. What does it mean when your iPad is unavailable try again in 3 hours? iPad unavailable mode is a security mode triggered by Apple to prevent unauthorized access. When it detects the wrong passcode being entered multiple times in a row, Apple will temporarily lock the iPad. Simultaneously, it'll show an unavailable message with a timer which starts from 1 minute, 5 minutes, 1 hour, and then as can see, iPad is unavailable for 3 hours. If you still remember the passcode, just let the countdown timer pass by and enter the right passcode to unlock. Why does my iPad say security lockout dry again in 3 hours? That's because 8 continuous wrong passcode entries have been made on your iPad. Maybe you forgot the passcode and tried the incorrect passcode. Perhaps your daughter, your son, or someone else messed up on the passcode too many times and resulted in iPad saying unavailable dry again in 3 hours. Or, the digitizer of the touchscreen itself randomly taps the incorrect passcode and gets into iPad security lockout screen saying dry again 3 hours. In rare cases, iPad randomly went into security lock after being charged overnight because the charging connector went wrong. Next. How to unlock iPad security lockout dry again in 3 hours. You tried restarting iPad but the screen is still black and says iPad unavailable try after 3 hours? Don't worry. There are still many ways to unlock your phone. We'll show them step by step in the following. The solutions here also work for fixing iPad security lockout dry again in 3 hours error. Now, let's start. Method 1. Wait 3 hours and enter the right passcode. When you see the unavailable 3 hours message on iPad, the timer will count down by itself. iPad says iPad unavailable dry again in 2 hours 59 minutes, 2 hours 58 minutes, 1 hour, and then it comes back to the lock screen again. From the given keypad, enter the right passcode and your iPad will be unlocked. As you can see, the iPad goes back to working order again. Method 2, go with erase iPad button. You might have found that there is an erase iPad button below the iPad security lockout dry again in 3 hours message. What is it? It's a function set up by Apple to help iPad users unlock iPad if forgotten the passcode with Apple ID and password. Let me show you how to use it to bypass iPad unavailable dry again in 3 hours. Tap the erase iPad button. On the next screen, tap the erase iPad button again. Type the password for the Apple ID you use to log into your 3 hour locked iPad. Next, tap the erase option. The erase process begins. iPad will turn off, show the Apple logo, and pop up the progress bar. Once done, iPad will turn on. See the hello screen? Great! You've removed the iPad unavailable 3 hours screen. Now, swipe up and set up your iPad as a new tablet. If you have backups in iCloud or iTunes or Finder, you can get back the data by following the steps in the Data and Apps screen. After finishing the iPad setup process, you will enable the home screen again to use it as normal. Method 3, unlock iPad with iTunes or Finder. Can't see erase iPad button? Worry not. Apple also recommends iPad users put iPad into recovery mode and unlock the 3 hour security lockout screen through iTunes or Finder if forgotten the passcode. Please prepare a Windows computer or a Mac computer first. Then, download iTunes or Finder on your computer and run the software. Use an Apple USB cable to connect your iPad to the computer. Then, put your iPad into recovery mode. The steps to enter recovery mode may vary depending on different iPad models. In an iPad with a home button like me, press and hold both the home button and top power button until you see the recovery mode screen. In an iPad without a home button, quickly press the release volume up button and volume down button and then press and hold the top power button. You can pause the video and follow the instructions on the screen to go into recovery mode. You can try a few more times if you can't get into the mode. Okay, my iPad is in recovery mode now. A black screen shows a laptop and a cable. Now, 
Go back to iTunes or Finder window. There should be a dialog box popping up. To open iPad security lockout try again in 3 hours screen, you'll need to factory reset the phone. Choose the restore option. Select restore and update option. Follow what iTunes or Finder asks you to do. And all that's left to do to wait. When you see the hello screen, your iPad is unlocked and gets back to normal status. Quickly set up your iPad and use it again. Method 4. Use Find My Feature in iCloud. Don't have a computer? The last method suggested by Apple is to use Find My Function in iCloud to get into the locked iPad. Alright, now open any browser on another phone or tablet and go to iCloud.com. Log in with Apple ID and password. Make sure that the Apple ID is the one that you use to sign into your locked iPad. If asked, enter the two-factor verification code. Once entered the iCloud homepage, scroll down and click the green Find My icon. Enter your Apple ID password again if asked. In the middle top of the page, choose the All Devices option. In the drop-down menu, choose the name of the iPad that's stuck with unavailable try again in 3 hours message. Then, choose the Erase iPad option. When asked, choose Erase again to confirm. A few seconds later, it'll start erasing the data and settings on the iPad and install the latest iPodos software into the tablet. When you see the Hello screen, quickly set up the iPad to use it as a brand new iPad. Here comes the FAQ part. How long is the iPad unavailable after 3 hours? After you wait 3 hours and enter the passcode wrong again, your iPad will be unavailable for 8 hours. After 8 hours pass and you still fail to type the right passcode, iPad will be locked forever. You have no way but to reset the iPad to unlock. The Erase iPad button is not working. What should I do? There are a few steps you can try. 1. Restart your iPad. 2. Force restart your iPad. 3. Insert a SIM card into your iPad and restart your iPad. Is there a way to fix iPad unavailable try again in 3 hours without losing data if forgotten the passcode? If you have backups for the data and content in your iPad, you can get data back from the backups after resetting the iPad. If not, you will lose everything after unlocking iPad security lockout try again in 3 hours. That's what to do when your iPad says iPad unavailable or security lockout try again in 3 hours. Hope this video can help you get off iPad security lockdown and unlock the tablet to make your work and life back to normal. If this video helps, please give it a thumbs up, comment below to let us know which method helps, and share it on Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, etc. Also, feel free to leave a comment down below with any other questions. Be sure to subscribe Byte Further channel to learn more tech tips about iPhone and iPad, and click another video on the screen to keep watching.